do it. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Lacey, nurse here at Westlake Plastic Surgery, and I have a wonderful patient today who is allowing us to video her rhinoplasty. Um, it's December, so this is like a great Christmas present for her, <laughs> I feel like. She's actually been on the book since July, so the anticipation has been high. Um, she has wanted this most of her life, she says. Um, she's obviously really young, but it's bothered her for a really long time. Uh, we were talking a little bit about her history, and uh, you've broken your nose once, is that yes. right? Okay. Softball player, I know there's a lot of you out there. <laughs> um, so she's had some trauma to the nose. She just didn't like it pretty much always, though, right? So explain to them what you were telling me about what you don't like about your nose. Um, when I smile, my right nose flattens down and goes in wide. I don't really like that. And then obviously, like the side profile is uh, not the best. So really, I just want like a more feminine, smaller nose. Wait, that's a good way to describe it more. Feminine. Yeah. yeah. Um, because if, Micah, you want to come over to the side, I'll show you a little bit. So uh, we can appreciate that she has this hump right here. And um, she doesn't have that kind of uh, slope that most of us are looking for. Um, it doesn't have to be a dramatic slope, but a little bit of a slope would be really nice. And then smile for me. Her nose kind of, uh, I don't want to say it's a hook nose, but um, because it's definitely not extreme, but she does kind of project down a little bit when she uh, smiles. And then in the front here, you can see that she is correct. She's looked at her nose a lot. <laughs> it, it does flatten out and it gets a little wider with her smile. And so those are things that we're looking forward to after surgery um, to be eliminated. Uh, most of the time when I ask people, what are you looking forward to most after surgery? They'll say pictures where you can see my side profile. You know, that's always something that makes them feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. What would you say you're most looking forward to? I think mine is like front facing. Front facing? Yeah, because usually when I take a picture, like if I'm just smiling, and yeah. it's that one thing like right in the front because it, it like hooks down, yeah. and widens out. And it's, oh yeah, yeah well so, good. I mean, the side profile would be nice, but I think for me it's more like the, the front. front. All right, so let's get back there. All right, well, now I get to chime in on this case, which is kind of cool. So she's got a long nose. She's got a hyperprojecting uh, dorsum here. She's got a wide base over here, and the tip's really not that defined. So really, what I'm going to do is rebalance and reshape this nose, get this uh, dorsum down. I'm going to narrow the base. I'm going to make a cool tip, and that's it. And uh, that's, how you, that's how you get a nice nose in her case. And then you're gonna watch how we do it. And then Lacey was saying that, you know, she always complains that, uh, a lot of people complain that when they smile, their tip comes down. And that's just because of this whole proportion and balancing of the nose is off. And once we get that back to where it needs to be, life is good. Okay, up here. All right, so not much of a cartilage shape here, so we're gonna have to work with this to get the best shape possible. But I work on the, the tip after I work on the dorsum, so I'm gonna set the dorsum first and then I'm gonna set the tip.
So let's use a chisel on the bone. So sometimes I rasp this bone and sometimes I chisel it. She's pretty big on the bone, so I can see this segment right in here. It starts here, it goes to about here. And then what we're gonna show you here is a cool, easy, easy tap, tap. Good, tap, tap. All right. Tap, tap. I don't know if you're getting this, but this is uh, tap, tap. Good. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Good. Tap, tap. Mm -hmm. Tap, tap. So look how that, this is already lowered and it's better and now it's just a matter of keep going down until I get it to where I want it, right? Okay. Lows are still pretty long here, but see, that's still pretty high, so I gotta take this down a bunch. You got a good dorsum. So I'm just doing this incrementally, piece at a time until I get it right. Okay, because you don't want to overdo it. That's how you end up with a ski slope and all this other kind of stuff. And those is only done in millimeters. So you see there's the alignment here to the alignment of the bone back here. It's got to be nice and smooth. These upper lateral cartilages are pretty big, so I'm going to trim them down a bit. Okay, so now you can see that this is down. You don't, you, you probably haven't seen it because you haven't seen it, but this is down. But look what happens is if I chase this tip and it's low, I, I'll reduce this too much and then you, you'll lose everything. So this has to come up and see what happens when this comes up, how that looks down. And so that's where I'm working now is to kind of get a better balance between the tip and the dorsum. All right, so now we're going to concentrate on this tip cartilages here. So not much to work with. So forcep for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to find out where her natural tip bend is. Seems to be right there. Give me this, the uh, needle more. You can see how the nose is shorter, right? This dorsum's flat and this tip is up, but I need, it's just not enough. Even though I have the shape of that cartilage right there, this is too weak here. This is just way too weak. So I need to get a good piece of cartilage to support that and get that down down in here and get it suture it right to this tip so far down I want to go Let's first of all okay suture okay so with that's done it's, it's I'm pushing down on that this already has more support and I haven't even lifted it up on the columella. So that's going to give us more height. So the nose is shorter, tip is higher, dorsum is lower, straighter, right? See the, see the rebalance? But I still got to, she's a little wide here, so I got to play with these cartilages just a wee bit. Get, get them even narrower. Everything is uh, I'm doing now is shaping these cartilages, and they're real delicate in a sense. So I'm trying to work with her very weak cartilage with a strut in there already. Uh, so this is going to be set higher. So if you look at this tip, we're going to set this up so it's up here like that. You see that? Down here, no tip. Up here, more tip. See it?
So you see how that's up more, the tip is up more, a bit more projection. I don't think I can get much more than that. I just think it's unrealistic that I'm going to be able to work with these tissues and get much more. That's pretty good. Her tip is higher, but she has some bulging of the cartilage here. I haven't narrowed this at all. I may take a little bit more cartilage right in the super tip area here. But you see how the balance is changing? Are you getting that? Woohoo. Little things better, better. Moves closed, that's better, that seems even. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting good here. And then we haven't even done the infrastructure yet. Wait till you see that, Mikey, you're gonna... Okay, I gotta put another stitch on the roof. Okay. Yeah, the infrastructure is gonna be... Where we fracture the Super nose. cool, okay. So I'm gonna have to her, have her to shape her tip up for several months more so we, she keeps it nice and narrow, yeah. that part as the, the nose heals. Okay, good, all right, so. She has this and then these wide nasal bones. You see, she's got this new tip, but then she's got these super nasal bones here that are super wide, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna narrow those now. Cause you wanna capture the width and then how that's gonna come in. Good taps, Mar. Okay. Okay. A little less, go. Go, go, go. All right, hold. Tap, tap, good, good. Go, 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 go. Now I'm gonna hold this for a minute, Micah, just to slow the, the blood, then I'm gonna fracture it. Hopefully you can hear it. It's pretty quiet, are you ready? Well, she came in nicely without me having to do that. So you didn't hear that fracture sound, but she came in nice. Real nice. You could hear that. You heard that? Yeah. <laughs> That's you why I that? was like, oh, I, you can hear that. I couldn't tell if it was your Nope, that was uh, not. <laughs> well, that wasn't a, a heavy one, but it was nice. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry. So it's just a change in shape, huh? Okay, let's close more. All right, so we're all done with that case, and I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, uh, Micah, your videography, did his first nose, right? First nose. Yeah, yeah and so he uh, was able, uh, you know, maybe by explaining it to him, I did a better job of explaining it to you, which is kind of cool, but it's a sea change. This nose was all about balance and proportion, high dorsum, low tip, long nose, and so what can you do with that? And what you just saw is what someone can do with that. So lowered that dorsum, I did a, a pretty good job of getting that tip up and I showed you how I had to use a cartilage graft because her uh, cartilages were not really developed as well as they sh that, that we like and that explains why she didn't have a good uh, uh, projecting tip anyway. Um, you saw on the table, the end result was pretty darn impressive. The, you know, I'm excited for her no matter how you look at it because that's a sea change. You know? So what am I concerned about? Um, really, uh, I will lose some of that projection of the tip over time. She will too. It's, it's, uh, she'll notice too. It, it's, uh, it's a slow process, but it's real. Uh, and sometimes you wish you can preserve it, but I didn't want to put a tip graft on there to really augment it because uh, they don't really do well uh, overall and certainly not in my hands uh, because they, they show and they get funky and all that kind of stuff. So that's just really where you have to accept uh, it is what it is and 
you know, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit kind of thing. But the, as you can see, it's a sea change. So I'm really super excited about her. I think she's going to give us some follow-up that'll be helpful for you in terms of how her recovery uh, went and all this kind of stuff. And then we'll have her nose reveal, which hopefully it'll be somewhat similar, obviously, to what we just showed you now with that little uh, iPad thing is, uh, in terms of the difference. So super exciting. I think this is going to be a, a real epic one. So stay tuned. Hello, I'm about five or six hours post-op uh, for my rhinoplasty. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, waking up out of surgery was, uh, I did have some pain on the sides of my nose, and uh, but it wasn't too bad. And it was alleviated pretty quickly with the pain medication. I do have a little bit of leakage. I'm starting to bruise. Not too bad. Um, other than that, I'm just feeling a, like a lot of pressure because I still have the the plugs in my nose. Um, I've just been icing for the most part. It's not too hard to keep the ice on because it alleviates a lot of the... Uh, it just makes it feel a lot better. Other than that, I just have like a dry throat. And... Uh, Eating food was fine. I had chicken soup, and uh, other than that, I feel pretty good. So I am about six hours post-op, and uh, I did my second time changing my gauze because I am having some leakage. But Dr. Creedy said it's completely normal, and I just have to, uh, you know. Put the gauze on as needed and i'm able to do mostly everything on my own right now so not too bad there you go and it's not painful you just feel all the pressure in your nose um yeah so it I am starting to bruise, but like doctor said, completely normal. I have been taking naps and icing my face uh, two hours on and then like 20 minutes off, you know, as much as I can. And there we are. Okay, uh, this is a 12 hour update, 12 hour post-op. I changed my gauze, it just took forever for me to try to film it, so I just skipped that. Um, but this is what I've still like read under here, but uh, this is like what the bruising is looking like right now. I've only had to take one of my prescriptions for pain, and then I just Went to sleep with the ice pack on, woke up, took it off, uh, walked around for a little bit. Um, although really the only thing that is just like having to like spit up the little bit of blood that uh, is in my throat. Eating is fine. A, uh, a turkey sandwich, I just took off the buds because I couldn't really put everything in my mouth. Um, I ate grapes, jello, chicken noodle soup. So I mean, I've been okay drinking Sprite. Um, other than that, really the only places where I felt pain to where I needed the medication were my little spots right here. Those are really where I'm only feeling pain and I've only had to take uh, just I mean, I've only felt like I needed it once. So I'm about to go ice again and then try to rest a little bit. Okay, it's rhinoplasty post-op, uh, eight in the morning the next day. I am um, not in too much pain. I took another um, pain medicine last night or like two in the morning. So I'm still feeling okay. I'm definitely a lot more swollen, but 
that's what's to be expected second or uh, second day post off um, still you know with the little bit of blood that's come up still changing my gauze i'm not bleeding as much anymore uh but still there's some uh my throat doesn't hurt as much it's not as dry at all even uh, from sleeping last night it wasn't that bad um still wearing compression socks those help i think uh but yeah this is eight in the morning the next day not quite 24 hours after hello i'm about three days post up uh from my rhinoplasty um as you can see my face is starting to swell up a lot more uh don't really have pain it's very uncomfortable especially like in my upper lip and in my cheeks because they're getting really swollen a lot of pressure right here on the sides um i've been icing uh pretty much all day every day which is I can I can tell the difference. My eyes aren't very swollen. I can see. Um, really, eating is probably a little bit harder just because my top lip is pretty swollen and kind of numb, and so are my cheeks. Uh, so it's getting a little bit hard to do that. Um, I'm not spitting up as much blood, which is pretty good. Um, I have been using my saline spray in my nose uh, when when needed when I can't really breathe. Um, other than that, it's just, there's not very much pain. There's a lot of discomfort. So yeah, that's my three-day my three day post up. Alrighty, I'm about four days post up for my rhinoplasty. Um, I wanna say yesterday was probably the worst day um, overall, just because of like the swelling and how much pressure I had. Um, I've transitioned from my prescription to my prescription pain medication to Tylenol. That seems to work just fine. Right now I'm just having like sinus headache kind of pain. Other than that, my swelling from yesterday did go down. I can move a little bit more in my face, um, but my cheeks are still visibly swollen. My um, eyes aren't that swollen. I was able to put my contacts in today. Um, I'm wearing those and I'm feel just fine. Um, not spraying up any blood anymore. Um, can eat pretty much anything. Um, uh, I'm sleeping better throughout the night. Um, it was, it was really difficult at first just because of all like everything going on. Other than that, it's just pressure. Um, here's 40 post up. Okay, I am six days post-op of my rhinoplasty. Uh, most of my swelling has gone down, just a little bruising on the eyelids. Um, my cheeks have gone down significantly. They're still a little puffy, not too bad. Um, pain really isn't there much. Really just my stitches that are kind of like itchy. It's pretty much like more itchy around like the bandages and stuff. Um, other than that, I really have had any problems other than sleeping, which is probably, I mean, to be expected. Other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with how my healing process has, has gone. I never really got um, swollen or bruised very, very badly. Obviously, I have some like slight bruising, yellowish kind right here. Um, my cheeks did swell, but those are going down. I had like a, like a little bruise there, but they said that was all normal. So everything's looking good.